Hello, I'm Sister Mary Catherine Pedrosi, and I'm happy to be with you today for this video number three of the Interlocking Global Goals for our Common Home One Family series. One of the seven closely related global goals of the Laudato Si Action Platform is to recover ecological spirituality. Ecological spirituality involves a firm inner conviction that God is the source of all creation, which is held together by God's love. This realization impacts priorities and decisions. Human beings with the gift of intelligence have the responsibility to respect and care for all creation. This care and respect extend to the earth and all its resources, as well as to all living creatures, now and for the future. This includes all the members of our human family. They are our brothers and sisters. All are endowed with inherent dignity and value even the most vulnerable among us. The resources of the earth are for the benefit of all people, not just for the privileged and powerful. Pope Francis gives us some insight into the meaning of ecological spirituality in these three short quotes from the encyclical Laudato Si. Quote, the creation accounts in the book of Genesis contain in their own symbolic and narrative language profound teachings about human existence and its historical reality. They suggest that human life is grounded in three fundamental and closely intertwined relationships with God, with our neighbor, and with the earth itself end of quote from the beginning of section 66 of Laudato Si. To continue, quote, this responsibility for God's earth means that human beings endowed with intelligence must respect the laws of nature and the delicate equilibria existing between the creatures of this world end of quote from section 68 of Laudato Si. To conclude, quote, together with our own obligation to use this earth's goods responsibly, we are called to recognize that other living beings have value of their own in God's eyes. End of quote, section 69 of Laudato Si. What do you see as some implications of ecological spirituality? Take a moment to consider this, and then we will move on. Ecological spirituality influences decisions made about the preservation of ecosystems, economic security, and justice in the use and distribution of natural resources. The goals of recovering ecological spirituality and creating ecological education lay the foundation for decisions about community action and advocacy for responding to the cry of the earth and the cry of people who are poor and vulnerable through building sustainable economics and lifestyles. You might want to spend some time outside just to enjoy the natural world around you in a spirit of wonder, praise, joy, and gratitude. Then get a couple of people together to dream about how you might be part of restoring our common home and healing our human family. Then act 
to bring about some part of your dream. If you wish to do so, please let me know how this goes for you. Let us pray for one another as we become part of something much greater than ourselves for the good of all.